वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज मंडे इज फर्स्ट वीडियो टू मेन न्यूज स्टोरीज फॉर यू फर्स्टली अ टॉप लेवल इथियोपियन गवर्नमेंट्स डेलीगेशन फेडरल डेलीगेशन हैज अराइव्ड इन मकैले टेगराय द कैपिटल सिटी एंड इंकरेजिंग डिवेलपमेंट हु इज पार्ट ऑफ दिस डेलीगेशन सेकेंडली PMRB was in the SNNPR two days ago. Yesterday he was in Bahirdar. 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 he is uh, asking these corrupt individuals to invest their money and he is telling that uh, uh, the corrupt uh, individuals will not be prosecuted what did he say details for you uh, shouldn't the government announce an amnesty scheme instead of making these offers for those who have illegal money firstly uh another uh, progress towards implementation of uh, peace deal towards building of trust between tigray regional government and ethiopian federal government that a top level ethiopian federal delegation has arrived in makale pictures are being shared uh, you can see a picture of the members of this delegation delegation landed in makale a few minutes ago who is part of this delegation firstly speaker of house of federation uh, tagasse chafo is part of this delegation and we know that uh, tplf is still a banned party a terrorist party according to ethiopian constitution because last year tplf and ola they were declared as terrorist organizations by ethiopian parliament ethiopian house of people representatives and tagasse uh, chafo is the speaker of the house the house will have to vote again uh to remove the label of a terrorist organization from tplf so in coming days we could see such voting at uh, lower house of ethiopian parliament that is why maybe speaker is there in makale to hold talks with uh, uh tplf uh, leaders who are in charge of tigray government secondly members of national dialogue commission are also part of this delegation last year ethiopian parliament formed uh, through a legislation formed national dialogue commission to resolve outstanding uh, issues between regions political issues ethnic issues other issues so a broad national dialogue was announced by the government but that commission was rejected by uh, major political parties of ethiopia olf from oromia oromo liberation front oromo federalist congress again from oromia uh, jawar bridagudina party uh, they rejected this uh, commission baldiras rejected as well from somali region Ogaden National Liberation Front rejected it. TPLF OLA banned, uh, so they were not in a position to reject or accept it. Now, National Law Commission does not command the trust of uh, opposition parties of uh, Ethiopia. That is, I don't know what this commission is doing. The commission is funded, reportedly. Some foreign partners are funding this commission too, but so far the commission has not delivered anything. because the main political parties uh, have shown their uh, they have disapproved this commission and now the commission members are in makale tagray is capital will tplf be part of this commission very important question viewers uh, will tplf uh, agree to uh, discussions uh, being held by this commission 
or will TPLF go for a separate consultative process for the resolution of issues uh, of Tigray like uh, Raya, Raik Volkayet? I think Ethiopian uh, federal government will try uh, that uh, TPLF should agree to be part of this commission. If TPLF became part of this commission, if it uh, accepted the commission, it would be a blow to other opposition parties of Ethiopia who have rejected this commission. Overall, it's a very healthy development that uh, a federal government delegation has arrived in Makale. We could see Gatacho and Bratsian in Addis Ababa, hopefully, as well. Things moving in the right direction. It was uh, heartening to see, honestly, uh, federal government people there in Makale. Such uh, exchanges of uh, meetings uh, should continue. Uh, secondly, viewers, uh, PMRB has passed some controversial remarks about corruption and corrupt individuals. Just a few weeks ago, Ethiopia formed a seven-member anti-corruption committee. Damascan Terone, intelligence agency chief of uh, Ethiopia, was made head of this uh, committee. And after that, the committee made some arrests as well. Uh, it uh, recommended action against some corrupt government individuals, government officials. In Addis Ababa, uh, one government official from Revenue Department was arrested a few weeks ago after the formation of this uh, committee uh, and some other individuals too. But it seems that government's drive against corruption uh, is not going according to the plan. That is why PMRB said that uh, the action on corrupt individuals was leading to instability, to destabilization in the country. He asked corrupt individuals to invest their money for opening of factories, uh, bakeries, for creating employment opportunities for the unemployed people. He assured them that no action will be taken, that uh, they will not be prosecuted. Now, uh, people on the basis of PMRB stock are saying that uh, he is not sincere in uh, eliminating corruption from Ethiopia. Firstly, I think that uh, in developing countries, uh, underdeveloped countries, there are cartels. Businessmen have built cartels. So it's difficult uh, to prosecute them because they can shake entire economies. Having said that, government officials are bound to be held accountable. If anyone wants to be soft on government officials who are in charge of public funds, it would be uh, a crime. So while PMRB is saying that uh, the corrupt should uh, invest their money, does it mean that corrupt government officials should open factories and uh, bakeries for employment? Or is he talking about those who have been involved in uh, corruption, but they're not part of the government? Some businessmen may be evading taxes, etc. Government officials uh, should not be allowed uh, to continue their corruption. They must be held accountable. That is what happens across the world. Yes, business people are sometimes uh, offered amnesty schemes. That is how they clean their dirty wealth. So instead of just uh, asking them uh, to make investments, uh, I think the federal government of Ethiopia should announce some amnesty scheme for those who have illegal money. Not government officials, non-government people, businessmen who have money but they did not pay taxes, etc. Yes, uh, amnesty schemes are announced in different countries of the world. Uh, the purpose is uh, to make illegal wealth part of the economy, to channelize it into creating employments, to put it into investments. That happens. 
I think government should go for announcement of some amnesty scheme. It means that government's seven-member anti-corruption committee is not going to do any miracles because uh, the federal government seems to have lost the faith in uh, fight against corruption. And uh, this statement of PM Abe could be used uh, against Ethiopian government by international financial institutions which uh, give loans to countries. Of course, if you tell them that you cannot uh, prosecute corrupt individuals, that uh, a crackdown on corruption will lead to instability, will they grant loans to you? So, so uh, PMAB should have been a little responsible when he passed these remarks. Being Prime Minister, his uh, talk, his words are quoted uh, and his words are quoted as official policy of the government. Thank you for watching.